Hello, I'm Andre. Um, today I want to show you how to develop and deploy applications for Mule 4 kernel runtime. Mule 4 kernel uh, is a community edition for uh, Mule 4. It is distributed under CPL license and uh, the applications developing uh, the same process is the, almost the same as for application developing for uh, Mule uh, 4. Uh, so let me create one project. This application will uh, expose the RESTful API for um, deal with orders. It will use database at the backend and uh, we will store the orders in the database and read the orders in from the database and return to the consumer application. So let is, let's create some service, name it order service. Uh, in mule 4 kernel runtime we can use uh, the same uh, RAML uh, definition, API RAML. Uh, let's, uh, let us create some method. We will use same AnyPoint Studio. My AnyPoint Studio is version of 7.6. Uh, Client name string, summit number, get responses 200 by uh, type array. Properties, sorry, items, properties, type, object, properties, uh, same client name, string, and sum as number. This simple API specification we can create using AnyPoint Studio, pre generate our uh, sorry, uh, flows from the REST API definition. One, two, three, okay. Okay, great, it was created. So, we have two services, uh, two flows, sorry, and we have to use database. Uh, so, database connector. Can we use database connector in new for runtime? Yes, of course we can. Uh, how to check? Let us open um, the connect new connector. We can check meta inf information here. The mule artifact and mule artifact JSON. Minimal mule required product mule means that we can use mule for kernel runtime. Uh, mule dash ee means we can use only uh, in enterprise edition runtimes. Okay, so as we can use database connector, let's use it. Uh, what we can do? Sorry, what we have to do? We have to insert some data. Insert into word orders columns client name and total values um, p1 p2 okay parameters what parameters we have to use uh, p1 is the client name so payload client name p2 payload sum uh, of course, of course, I have a, sorry, I have a uh, database with, with this name. Okay, sorry. Uh, 
Internet connection. We will use Postgres here and add Maven dependency. Uh, sorry, let me find what the Maven dependency for Postgres. Here it is. Okay. Yes, URL JDBC uh, Postgres Postgres uh, new helper dot net five four three two Postgres Postgres driver class name. It is Postgres. connection mm -hmm. uh, sorry Postgres GDPC rule how it looks like Postgres code sorry <laughs> Test connection. Yeah, test is successful. Okay. Uh, when we develop applications for Mu4 kernel, we cannot use EE components. So we have to do only. Uh, but we can use data wave expressions. For example, we can use in set payload. And uh, for the response, we can set the law JSON and let us, let us use message success when we create, when we successfully create and uh, and record. Another one, we have to select all the orders from the database from orders. Okay, everything. <clears throat> and let me oh okay let me create a response same json payload map client name is client name sum as total Okay, client name values, client name sum, okay, I guess it is all. So, we are unable to run this application from the AnyPoint Studio, because AnyPoint Studio allows you only use Enterprise Edition runtimes. What to do? We have to check first, we have to check, do we, are we using uh, EE namespace? Here, no, we don't use. Also, we have to check, <coughs> sorry, mu runtime and uh, mu artifact JSON and set the mu runtime as uh, 4.2.0. Also, required product should be just mu. We run it with mu runtime, so we have to add required product as mu. Okay, I guess it is ready to deploy. Uh, so, let me build the artifact here. Okay. In the same time, let me start the mule standalone. I just download it. Mule standalone from the official Mule soft site. Unpack it and uh, go to the bin folder. Let's start Mule. Just Mule. And wait, wait it to start. Here we see that our service has been deployed. Uh, so has been packaged, sorry. Okay. Copy this artifact. How to deploy? Just copy to the apps folder. First, let us check. Hmm. 
I will start from here already. Okay, just remove what we have here. Let me remove. Let's wait new runtime to remove the existing artifact. Yes, undeployed. Okay, let us deploy our artifact. We see initializing here, and it should be started. Yeah, I see we some somewhere using this. It is not started because we somewhere are using are using U E E. What is that? Oh my God! No, we have we we should not use. Sorry, I forget about the transform messages here. So let me just remove everything uh, related to exception handling. Of course, we we can use exception handlers, but I just remove. We'll we'll just remove it here. So yes, we don't have it. Now we don't have EE runtime. Let us package again. Package it. And let us again start it. Copy. Yes, yeah, started. It is started with mu for kernel. Let us check what is going on. Are we able to use it or not? Okay, okay. So we have already two records here. And let me remove it. Save. Restart. Okay. So I'm exposing API at port 9921. Okay. Oh, oh. We already have it. Okay. Let me buy something with one hundred dollars. Spend. Hmm. An error somewhere. Okay. Let us check where we can find the logs. Order services here. Okay, same old error. I'm using the wrong. Tables name. Orders. Let us package again. And deploy again. Undeployed, it's initializing, it started. Let us try again to create an order. Works. Let us check the database. Oh, here it is. We have it in the database. Okay, let us check what is localhost. Orders. Oh yes, we see here our application is working and it is working under mu for on time. Here we can see the logs for our application. Here we can see the logs of mu on time. So that's all. That's all that I wanted to show you. Everything is working fine. Thank you.